Assalamu alaikum, I'm Fatma Qureshi and today I will be showing you how to create a peer-to-peer -peer network on Cisco Packet Tracer. So Cisco Packet Tracer is basically a very useful tool, especially for networking students. On here we get to create networks, simulation of networks, and then we can even implement these simulations in real life. So this is a very, very um, convenient since the networking devices are ex extremely expensive. Uh, so that is why we are making this network using the Cisco Packet Tracer. So let's get started on the peer-to-peer -peer network. Uh, first, I'll tell you what a peer-to-peer -peer network is. So in the peer-to-peer -peer network, every computer can send and receive files from any other computer there's no server in between. We don't have to send requests to a server. The computers can just communicate with each other. They don't need to send requests to a server. That kind of network is called as client server network. This is a peer-to-peer -peer network. Okay, so as you can see, I've uh, placed 19 computers here. It's uh, in a sort of ellipse pattern, which is, um, which uh, you can see I did it because it will be easier to, um, much easier to look at the all the computers that way since uh, otherwise it would have been very congested so for example we can say that this is the cs department and this is the bba and this is the it and that is the bbs and so on so let's just remove these circles first no Okay, so now I'll add the 20th computer. We can do that by coming down here and clicking on end devices, select PC and place it wherever you want. I want it here, so I put it here. I can change its name. I'm going to change it to IT5. And then uh, I have already uh, configured the IPs for the rest of the computers. And as you can see, I have um, written the IP on top, which I will also do that for this one. So first learn how to, uh, let's learn how to configure the IP. Click on the PC, go to desktop, then IP configuration, and then write the IP address here. We're using uh, the static um, IP configuration. Uh, this is a class C network, so make sure that all the computers on the network are class C. So 192.168.8.20. And then you click here and then you get the subnet mask. Simply click the cross button. Now I will take a note and then write its IP above it which is 192.168.8.20 okay now we have all our 20 computers so in this network peer-to-peer -peer network of 20 computers we need to now get uh, a way to connect all these computers we need the medium. So for that, let's come to network devices and switches. We will select a switch that has the capability of connecting 24 computers. I'm going with 20 computers. Okay, so we need to connect these computers to the switch. For that, the wire we use is copper straight through. We use the, the uh, copper crossover when we are connecting similar devices and we use the copper straight through when we are going to connect dissimilar devices like a computer and a switch. Okay, I want to start connecting. Okay, uh, let's get started. This will take a while since there are 20 computers. First computer to net one. Sorry.
Those are to click on them. Okay, so we are on the last computer and 20 and done. Now you may notice that some uh, then the start the there's circular orange reddish light and uh, this will be here because uh, it's like establishing the connection. So once both are green, then we know that the connection has been established and there is nothing wrong. Okay, so now we have created a peer-to-peer -peer network with 20 computers. To check if the connection has actually been established and then and that the computers are communicating with each other, uh, let's take a look at how we can check that. So let's see, uh, I want VBA2 computer to send a message to BSS4 computer. So I'll go to desktop command prompt and then write ping one then the uh, IP address of the computer you want to communicate with so that is 192.168.8.9 now you can see that you're getting a reply from the uh, BSS4 computer this shows that the communication was successful. Now let's check uh, another computer. For example, let's say I want to um, communicate with the BBA2 computer wants to communicate with the IT3 computer. So I will ping the IT3 computer whose IP is 192.168.8.9. Now, as you can see, I'm getting a reply from IT3 computer. Similarly, we can check any other computer on the network. For example, let's say BBA5 wants to communicate with the CS5 computer. So, ping 192.168.8.5. And as you can see, you're getting the replies. Now that is all for the peer-to-peer -peer network. Um, oh, uh, and one other thing. In order to check that if all the computers have been uh, successfully connected to the network, we can use this icon over here. 
it sends one message from a computer to another and checks if it has been sent or not. For example, I'm sending from CS3 computer to ID5. Then we come down here and we can see that it was successful. In the same way, we can check any other computer on the network, for example, BSS3 sending a message to BBA2. And we can see that it was successful. Um, BBA3 to BBA5. And here you can see that it was successful. This shows that we have made a network of 20 computers successfully. Uh, I hope you were able to understand how to create a peer-to-peer -peer network and um, that how we can uh, use Cisco Packet Tracer to create such kind of networks. Thank you.